Coming up next, celebration in Dodger Town tonight. It was a must win, and that's just what they did. This is a great team. It's a dream team. A third of the charges in the McMartin molestation case are dropped, and dramatic home video of a fatal accident is shown in court. She was there hit by the car. Hello, everyone. I'm Tom Lawrence. And I'm Wendy Gordon. Stay with us. The 9 o'clock news is coming up next. You know, you never know how a first date game plan is going to turn out. First thing to do is grab her and start kissing her, you know. On Love Connection. Weeknights at 7. Wendy Gordon. Tom Lawrence. Scott St. James. Andrew Amador. Sandy Newton. L.A.'s primetime news. The 9 o'clock news. Hello, everybody. It was do or die, and the Dodgers did it tonight. Absolutely. They're going to be in the World Series for the first time since 1981. Scott St. James is here to tell us about it. All right. Heart Attack Series. First of all, we're going to be joined <laughs> immediately by Fred Clare, the architect of this team. Uh, Fred, congratulations. Thank you very much, Scott. I wish you were here. You would look good in champagne. <laughs> Fred, can, do you have a monitor there? Can you see us? Yes. All right. What are these? Wait, I can't see that well, Scott. I, I, I really can't. Trust me, they're World Series tickets. <laughs> well, when, when, when the season started, uh, you, you had a lot of things that you wanted to do, but was the World Series honestly and truly in the back of your mind? Well, Scott, whether it's believed or not, it was. And certainly winning was in my mind, and winning was in the mind of this ball club. I don't think that you can be a part of a ball club and put in the time and the effort that our organization has put in from top to bottom and not believe that you can accomplish a gold. So, yes, we, we believed, and uh, maybe we believed against great odds, but I don't think that you can be here today unless you've believed that you can be here today. Fred, I don't know if you saw what I saw in the ninth inning, and unfortunately I'm not able to show it right now, but right after Jose Gonzalez caught a ball up against the fence, it was obvious that Oral Hershiser was having to kill himself to keep from smiling or crying or something. Did you see that? Well, I, uh, I noticed it. I noticed a lot of emotional things that took place in tonight's ball game because it's a very emotional ball club. It's a, it's a group of people who had to come together to prove a lot of things. Uh, there was a lot of emotion, a lot of believing, a lot of heart in this ball club. Fred, thank you very much. Congratulations. We'll see you Friday. Okay, Scott. Yeah. The, the World Series starts Saturday. Oh, God. And we'll have tickets to give away, so that stand by. so great. Exciting. Congrats. We'll be back later. Well, you know, the uh, saying, it's all over but the shouting. Well, it is true. The game is over, but not the shouting all over our big city. Channel 9's Linda Edwards, can you hear us? You're at Tommy Lasorda's restaurant in Marina Del Rey. Tom, Lasorda's is the place to be tonight. So many enthusiastic Dodgers fans couldn't be happier tonight. Oddly, though, a lot of them have already gone home. I guess they just yelled for too many hours and uh, had to go home and rest their voices. Anyway, there are still some hanging on, and I want to get the feel for what they're thinking and feeling tonight. Can you tell me, what did you think as you watched the game tonight? I tell you what, there was a few errors made, but I, the Dodgers were going to do it. We knew we were going to do it. Everybody's been here every night. The crowd's been great, and that's what it's all about. It's American way, apple pie, and baseball. Let's go. Okay, how about you two? A married couple over here. Did you have a good time tonight? Wonderful time. This is the best time we were here last night, but tonight is the best. I knew the Dodgers were going to take it in seven. World Series in seven again. All Absolutely. the way. And it was well worth the wait of one more night. Definitely. Okay, it was a great time here tonight, and of course, looking forward to that World Series. <laughs> you can All almost, right. almost hear her there. Yeah, that that's going to be a good time in the old town tonight, okay. I'll tell you. Well, there was other news tonight. Uh, the judge in the McMartin preschool molestation case today dismissed a third of the remaining charges. The prosecution's case against Raymond Bucky and his mother, Peggy McMartin Bucky, ended last week. Three children did not testify. 27 counts based on their unheard testimony were dropped. Prosecutors say the children refused to testify, but the defense says the state could have called the children to the stand, but didn't. The truth of the matter is the evidence these children presented at preliminary hearing and before was unbelievable. They essentially eliminated the most bizarre accounts that would come into this case. They cut their losses, so don't be misled. 
In addition to the 27 counts dropped today, prosecutors asked that an additional eight more be dismissed. About 60 counts remain. And we want to alert you to this next story by saying a gruesome videotape showing a Newport Beach woman being killed by a car was shown at the preliminary hearing for Danny David Ornelius in Orange County today. Channel 9's Jim Murphy has more on this story, and we caution you that the videotape you are about to see is explicit and you may not want to watch. Debbie Kalalia was killed in the accident, which was videotaped by a passenger in the front seat of the suspect car. Police say 19-year-old Danny Ornelas was driving the car and that his blood alcohol content was 0.18, legally drunk. Ornelas is charged with murder. An eyewitness said Ornelas was speeding in the Newport Beach alley where Mrs. Kalalia and her two children were walking behind their home. She managed to push the children to safety, but could not escape herself. She uh, yelled at them or what have you to uh, push them back, and she did not really have time, and then she was... She was uh, hit by the car. The prosecution plans to wrap up its case in this preliminary hearing tomorrow. If Ornelas is held for trial and eventually convicted, he could face life in prison. In Newport Beach, Jim Murphy, Channel 9 News. And coming up next on our news, three more big cocaine busts worth a half billion dollars. The two presidential candidates are in Los Angeles preparing for tomorrow's debate. And Donald Trump buys a shuttle. No, it's not NASA's shuttle. We'll explain. <laughs> After 11 years as a Safeway checker, I know what things cost. So when other markets tell you they've got the lowest this or that, I know when it's a lot of baloney. But now that Safeway is bonds, they've lowered thousands of prices throughout the store. And with the unlimited double coupons, I think that they do. I mean, we really do have the lowest tape total in town. Check out the low prices at your new bonds and say hello to some old friends. Nobody else but bonds. I grew up in a very quiet place just west of Kyoto. Every spring, the rain would come and it would grow so silent you could almost hear the mist if you really listened. Now that I live in Los Angeles, the quiet of home is a sound I miss very much. So I go back at least once a week just to listen. Who says you can't go home again? Go ahead. Reach out and touch someone. How to buy auto insurance for less at FGS. First, you pick up the telephone, dial 1-800-222-9222. Someone on the other end answers, FGS, are you calling for a quote? You say, yes, but I want a low rate, a low monthly payment, and a low down payment. The FGS person says, okay, and if you have a Visa or MasterCard, we can charge your down payment and get you insured right now over the phone, even if your insurance expired 10 years ago. You say, okay. FGS says, okay. Easy, isn't it? I love him dearly, but sometimes he is just so out there. Yesterday, I asked him to stop at Thrifty on the way home and get some Oscal 500. See, I figure if I take a calcium supplement now, I won't look like a rocking chair when I'm 65. So, I write it down on a little note. Oscal 500 milligram and Oscal 500 plus D, bottle of 60 for 4.79 at Thrifty. And then he goes off and leaves the note. Boy, sometimes he is such a cadet. Authorities say three new drug busts are more evidence that Southern California is the cocaine capital of the United States. A total of 3,300 pounds of cocaine was seized with a street value of more than half a billion dollars. But 1,200 pounds were found aboard a turboprop aircraft after it landed at Chino Airport. The plane had been tracked by radar from Mexico. Here in Los Angeles, police seized two vans and found more than 600 pounds of cocaine, the drugs hidden under a false floor. And in Irwindale, more than 1,500 pounds were seized in that city's biggest drug bust ever. Wendy. The other big contest here in this city, a political one, George Bush and Michael Dukakis huddled with their handlers for most of this day in preparation for tomorrow's debate. But the candidates did come out for the cameras. George Bush reinforced his stance as a crime fighter in a meeting with L.A. Police Chief Daryl Gates. Bush later jogged for three miles with a group of UCLA students. For his part, Michael Dukakis is still playing catch-up in the polls and playing catch with his press secretary. Dukakis predicted victory in tomorrow night's debate. 
And there are some folks who are not really concerned right now about who wins or loses tomorrow. There are the workers scrambling to get the debate hall ready. Channel Line's Linda Edwards was at UCLA for the last minute preparations. Holly Pavilion at UCLA is being transformed into a presidential debate arena. The stage is set, the microphones are being tested, the TV networks are setting up shop. Have the campaign workers from, from either side been very specific about what they want here? Oh yes, uh, we were warned that the uh, campaign leadership of each of the candidates would uh, have some unusual demands and we were, we were told that we should uh, run those kinds of requests through the commission and make sure everybody was treated fairly. They each have ante rooms off the press rooms and they each have separate interview rooms. Thursday morning the candidates arrive for a walkthrough. The debate format will be the same as the presidential debate last month in Wake Forest, Massachusetts. Seating will be limited to the floor only. A bipartisan commission has laid down the rules for the debate, and though the answers may seem rehearsed, the questions are not. If you had any hopes of coming to the debate, forget it. The tickets have already been handed out to selected people, and the Secret Service will be locking up the auditorium at 5.30 p.m. From Polly Pavilion at UCLA, Linda Edwards, Channel 9 News. The Supreme Court is once again involved in a decision over civil rights, only this time it's the court's own decision that is being debated. The case involves a 1976 ruling involving an all-white private school that barred black children. The decision 12 years ago held that such schools violated the Civil Rights Act of 1866. The argument against that decision says that the old law does not apply to private acts of discrimination. Dissenters say the move threatens to undermine the faith minorities have in the high court. Attorneys general from nearly every state and most U.S. senators have urged the court not to tamper with that 1976 ruling. Well, up next we're going to tell you about another triumph for Donald Trump. And if there's a will, there's a way. We will tell you how to keep your inheritance from being tied up in lengthy court battles. Stay with us. At Glendale Federal, we've got a 54-year track record of growth and success. And now we're building on that success with the introduction of Checking Plus. A checking account package that's backed with superior service, including instant access to thousands of ATMs, and our handy phone information hotline. Checking Plus from Glendale Federal. When you say jump, we say how high. This is a machine designed to keep you on time. And this is what makes it tick. People. Working together with clock-like precision. Each dedicated to keeping you on schedule. Time after time after time. American Airlines, the on-time machine. It's the dawning of another damaging day. Ultraviolet light is everywhere, a major cause of skin's premature aging. Now, from Elizabeth Arden comes Immunage UV Defense Cream. Advanced moisture, SPF 15 sun protection. Your skin looks luminous, protected. The age of immunage has arrived from Elizabeth Arden. Beauty choices, yours with any $10 Elizabeth Arden purchase at May Company. New York real estate tycoon Donald Trump is taking a leap into the airline business. Trump announced today he has agreed to buy Eastern Airlines Northeast Air Shuttle and name it after himself. The price tag, $365 million dollars and Trump has high hopes. What I want to do is run it as a diamond, an absolute diamond. I want the employees to be well taken care of. I want everybody to be happy. As Frank said, we're keeping the same people right on. We're not letting anyone go. Eastern's unions, though, claim the deal will be the death of the airline, and they vow to fight it. But if things go well for Donald Trump, that sale could be completed by mid-December. Tom? And now to talk about your finances, inheritances. Most estates, by law, have to go through the process called probate. On average, it takes two years, but it could last as long as ten. But there are ways to reduce that time or even avoid it altogether, as Paula Nelson reports now in tonight's Money Wise segment. Protecting your estate, your home, jewelry, stocks, and bonds, is the primary purpose of a will. But at the time of death, virtually all wills are probated. Probate is the legal process of qualifying a will so the executor or executrix can proceed with the administering of the estate. Probate typically takes anywhere from two weeks to two years or more if it's contested. 
During probate, assets are tied up and legal costs mount up. To minimize this process, consider the size of your estate. Estates under $600,000 can avoid probate altogether by holding all property in joint ownership with a spouse or other beneficiary. For estates over $600,000, some experts advise the use of a living trust created during your lifetime that in effect operates like a will. It would allow you to use the property as the beneficiary during your life and would determine what happens to the property when you die. A trust eliminates certain court fees, court supervision, and privacy is maintained. But the use of a trust doesn't remove all the red tape. The process is still subject to creditors' liens for up to seven months after death and the filing of federal estate taxes nine months after death. Lawyers suggest that no matter what, joint ownership or creating a trust, individuals still need a will to protect your estate. Paula Nelson, New York. And on Wall Street, stocks took a beating today. The Dow Jones Industrials dropped more than 30 points, and trading was moderate. Okay, coming up next, Andy will be along with the weather. And Sandy Newton talks with Shirley MacLaine, who is starring in a new film, her first since she won an Oscar four years ago. You know, we always spent day to day. We never had to think about um, helping somebody through an entire life before. We've got educations to think about in the long run, and we've got diapers to think about in the short run, you know. Saving for the future was something new for the Honorados, so they looked to home savings, America's largest savings and loan for guidance. That's why they have our money and why we trust them with our money, because we trust them with us, you know. A meter long distance copier or fax machine can reach out and send a copy to someone in just 15 seconds. Mm. Meter, or we make our great copiers. Call 1 800 ABC Meter. If you consider the importance of energy in the universe, you'll realize we're a pretty smart crew here on Earth. Those who switch to the new generation of gas appliances. They're dependable, efficient, and they do not cost you a fortune to run. You've got to be from another planet not to use gas. I, I always knew there was intelligent life out there. Life a bear? Then hop off to Australia on this week's Great Escape. Relax on the world's only floating hotel and dive down under the Great Barrier Reef. Then enjoy southern comfort in Charleston, South Carolina. Or lay back to the Latin beat in Ixtapa, Mexico. Relax this week with the Great Escape, your television travel section. Sunday at 10 p.m., nowhere else but Channel 9. Sandy Newton's entertainment report is being brought to you by Holland America Line. At Holland America Line, we never forget whose vacation it is. By Henodi Long Grain Rice, the number one brand of California-grown rice. Henodi, the finest rice from the finest land. And Coco's new bakery restaurants, now featuring their special prime rib dinner. Well, to say the least, everybody is talking about the World Series, so we have to have some fabulous California weather. Yes. I think we will have some fabulous California weather in the south, but to the north, for the games up there, it could be iffy because oh, there's a no. big storm moving into northern California. Now, this could throw that, uh, that slice ball in there, or whatever they call it. So, we want to make sure we know about these things, and I'll keep you posted. Let's check out those numbers at 9 and see what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, the crew is turning on me. I'm not that versed in the sliders and the low ball flowers. <laughs> Temperature is 63. Relative humidity is 62 percent. The pressure is rising in the winds from the southwest eight miles per hour. We had a maximum of 76 today. The science is tough enough, as you know. The low, 64. All right. Here is the local picture for you tonight. I should have never opened my mouth. I knew when I, the first thing I said to think about the slice, that they were going, oh my God, he's what he's talking about. Okay. Uh, we have a little uh, coastal eddy over Southern California. Now, that combined with a big storm for early in fall moving into Northern California 
could combine to bring us uh, a little cooler weather for the weekend, but all in all, not too bad. But this storm will bring significant moisture to northern California, north of Shelter Cove. And by the weekend, there still may be some residual moisture to uh, goof up the, the World Series up there. We'll have to wait and see on that. Here's the uh, local forecast then for you tonight. Late night low clouds and tomorrow... Mm -hmm. Sunny and breezy, high 75. Now check out your town tomorrow for a particular number or two. Uh, for the most part, valley temperatures will peak in the upper 70s Thursday. Inland Orange County, Anaheim, 75. The deserts are showing signs of cooling. Palm Springs, 96 for the high there tomorrow. Now, tonight's winning lotto numbers, I have them right here. The jackpot worth over $11 million. Not even that much money could get out, get me out of the slice ball trouble. 11, 28, 32, 35, 37, 38, the bonus is one. Here is the five-day forecast for you, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks pretty good to me. Mid-70 temperatures for the next couple of days with an increasing onshore flow. But we will see warmer numbers for the weekend. Huh, Gorgeous. okay, it looks perfect. So uh, let's hope they all shoot those sinking low balls. <laughs> you got it, low ball flowers. <laughs> yes. Okay, new films opening Friday. It stars Academy Award winning actress Shirley MacLaine. Our entertainment reporter Sandy Newton is here, and you always get the good interviews. Oh, you know? and this was a real treat. I'd never yeah. met her before, a real treat. Well, as we speak over at the Beverly Center Cineplex Odeon Theaters, the fourth annual Women in Film Festival is opening with the premiere of John Schlesinger's Madame Susatska, starring Shirley MacLaine. This is the kind of film they used to refer to as an art film, a very special kind of movie, not necessarily always big at the box office, office though. Well, hopefully with the power punch and appeal of Miss McLean, audiences of all ages will see her see her stunning performance. Looks like maybe another Oscar. In Madame Suzatska, McLean plays an eccentric, cranky, but passionate piano teacher whose life revolves around her students and music. Whenever I take on a new student, I give myself and my time totally and freely. It is an absolute commitment for both of us. It's a role McLean wanted to play and had to prepare for. I gained 25 pounds so that there would be more to work with and they could shoot me from below and have all these sort of third dimensional bevels and <laughs> stuff. And Why did you wait so long after Terms of Endearment to do a film? I think it's been four years. Didn't find something that I liked. Uh, I was busy writing books. I wrote two books and I did uh, about a year of live performing. Nothing came along. I would have continued to do other things if the Suzatska script hadn't happened. No, no. The message cannot come to the fingers if you don't open the body and let it through. Let me you know, it's interesting, a lot of uh, actors say that, that roles of a lifetime don't come but once, obviously, and you've had some incredible roles. Well, I've had so many lifetimes. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the perfect answer? <laughs> I'll have more of, of my interview with Shirley in a couple of weeks. Now, for more information on the Women in Film Festival, which screens through Sunday, you can catch uh, them at their Hollywood office. There's lots of seminars, screenings, a lot of information, and a wonderful festival. Mm -hmm. and she's she always terrific. knows the right yeah, lines. Oh, That's she's funny. the best. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> A tremendous night for the Dodgers. We all know it. We reported earlier. They're going to the World Series. So coming up next, Scotty with all the action. Stay with us. Hey, can we extend this cruise? Like maybe for a year? I don't even miss work. Don't go back then. I can't fire you if you don't go back. The joy of doing what you want. The art of going your own way. Come, discover them aboard the ocean liners of Holland America Line. It's funny, you don't know what you're getting into to go anyway. And then you don't want it to stop. It's, it's like you want it to go on and on. All kinds of people live in the lush Sacramento Valley. People like Terrell Knight of Willows. Baldemar Castillo Romero of Sacramento. Kenneth Lim of Yuba City. For generations, they worked the land and reaped its harvests, including the finest rice in California. Some say anywhere. The rice is Hinodi, grown by families like these for families like yours. Coco's is now baking up freshness every day. Fresh from the oven. Incredibly delicious pies. 
cakes, muffins, cornbread, cookies, and more. Come on. To eat here or take home. Come and right now, you can enjoy Coco's complete prime rib dinner for just $7.95. But try to leave a little room for dessert. Coco's is the place, and I like it like that. Come on. The Scott St. James Report is being brought to you by your authorized Southern California Mercedes-Benz dealers. Like no other dealers in the world. Mercedes-Benz. So precisely engineered, it is comparable to the supersonic Concorde. And so handsomely designed, it echoes the elegance of the QE2. Now thanks to our world-class test drive sweepstakes, you just might win one of eight world-class trips for two to Europe on British Airways supersonic Concorde. Visit the Mercedes-Benz European Delivery Center in West Germany and return on the elegant QE2. The world-class test drive sweepstakes, only at a participating authorized Southern California Mercedes-Benz dealer. I know you have Oral Hershiser standing by, so all I can say is it doesn't get any better than that. He mm -hmm. was great tonight. Yeah. Wow. It, you're right, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> what a series. The underdog L.A. Dodgers given up for dead after game one of the National League Championship Series. Sc clawed, scratched, fielded, hit, pitched their way. They're going to the World Series. Oral Hershiser, how good do you feel? We, we feel fantastic here. It was just an unbelievable team effort. And uh, I have to say that uh, in receiving the MVP award, I just received it on behalf of our ball club because I was only 1-0 with one save. And the other two starts, we lost those games. So there had to been an awful lot of more you know, contributions from other people. Oral, we're going to show a little piece of tape that took place in the ninth inning. Okay. Kevin McReynolds was at bat, hit a long fly ball off a pitch that you threw to left field. The pitch is just now coming. I don't know if you can see the monitor or not. Jose Gonzalez makes the catch right. near the fence and now afterwards the camera went to you and I couldn't tell once once we see it in just a second I couldn't tell if you were stifling a laugh a cry what were you doing out there I was stifling a laugh because I made such a bad pitch and, and the shutout was still intact and that was the only thing that was going to keep me on the mound because if I gave up a run they were going to take me out of the game so when he caught the ball I thought I still have a chance to be out here for the final out I was curious I, I, I and also as that inning went on until you uh, hit hit the one guy you were you were starting to get giddy out there weren't you a little bit well, I, I, I really had tears welling up in my eyes after I had two outs and nobody on. I figured with a 6 nothing lead and two outs that the last thing that's going to happen is uh, they're going to score six runs. So I thought it was just a matter of time until we won the game. So I took a slow pirouette around the whole stadium and took it all in, watched all the people giving the standing ovation and watched our bench cheering and the Mets down. And it was just fantastic to just soak it all in to know, know that when I watch a highlight film of this year, I'm going to know exactly how I felt out there. Uh, Oral, that nickname Bulldog was well-deserved this series I mean you pitch game one you pitch game three you come in you get a save in another game you go down the day after that ready to warm up in the bullpen uh, uh, what is this a six million dollar arm you got out there well maybe my next year <laughs> I don't know uh, uh, we'll just see uh, I think uh, what's going to happen is that uh, the playoffs have just exposed what I can do on a day in and day out basis it's not something that you do during the regular season it's not something that you take a risk at going out there and throwing in between starts like that and you don't step on people's toes out there in the bullpen they've got roles and they're great pitchers but this is just something I'm capable of doing and I signed a player's contract and Tommy signed a manager's contract and I tell him when I can play and then it's his job to put me in there when he wants. Bulldog congratulations you're the MVP winner the Dodgers are going to the World Series we'll see you out there Friday game one is Saturday. Okay. You're just a little excited aren't you? Just yeah. <laughs> Thank you Arnold. All right. And that is, when we'll have World Series tickets to give away starting tomorrow Ooh. night, right, right. here. If, if they don't disappear first. Yeah, I'm going to be calling in for those. Well, right. a, a silly question tonight. You like living in L.A.? Maybe you ought to think about it. A psychologist at Cal State Fresno has come up with his list of the most and least stressful places to live. Uh, according to him, a lot of cold northern cities are the best places to live, the least stressful. And State College, Pennsylvania, is at the top. Uh, milder climates, better economic conditions are at the bottom. Dr. Robert Levine says those cities have higher suicides and crime rates, and therefore, according to him, L.A. and Long Beach are 240th on the list of 286 areas ranked. And according to him, the worst place to live in the country is Tucson, Arizona. And sure, hey, sure. Dr. Levine. Uh, do Tucson. another list. Tucson know. is like on the top of my yeah. list. <laughs> That's going to do it for us tonight. Dodgers, you're just great. Oral mm. Hershiser, the best. We will see you all back here tomorrow night at 9. Have a good one.